Well, say what you will of the current economy, but the U.S. appears to be overdue for a recession, according to the National Bureau of Economic Research, which says the average expansion cycle in the economy lasts less than five years. The U.S. has been recovering slowly for the past seven years. 47 ABC's Lili Zhang joins us live in the studio tonight with more on this. Lili, you spoke with a local economic expert, and what did he have to say? Yeah, David, we spoke to Dr. Memo Derricker earlier this week. Now, he's confident the U.S. will see a recession in the near future. While he says it's hard to tell how bad it could be, it's something that everyone needs to prepare for. The U.S. economy as it stands right now, according to Dr. Memo Derricker, is not in bad shape. But Dr. Derricker, director of the Business Economic and Community Outreach Network at Salisbury University, or Beacon, says the problem isn't now. We're at uh, year seven of not having a recession, so theoretically we are going to have one. The question is, when is it going to be? Derriger tells 47 ABC he thinks a recession could happen within 18 to 24 months. Recessions are marked by a number of indicators, like high unemployment rates, lower consumer confidence, and a gross domestic product that shrinks for two straight quarters. Regardless of how severe the next recession is, and regardless of when it really comes here, 18 or 24 months, it's going to hurt a lot of people who don't have savings built up or who, who haven't reduced their debt or who assets have actually shrunk. Derricker also adds, whether a Democrat or Republican wins the 2016 race to the White House. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to declare our economic independence once again. We're going to let young people who want to start something new defer your federal student loan payments for up to three years. He or she needs to prepare economic policies for the real possibility of a recession. The problem is, are those plans based on realistic assumptions or are they making uh, a little bit optimistic assumptions? And right now, early indications are that both parties are making assumptions that are not going to be sustainable in the long run. Derriger says there are some things people can do to build their resilience. For example, curtail spendings and pay off as much debt as possible. Now, the catch, he says, that if everyone were to do it at the same time, it could accelerate a recession. David? All right. Thank you very much, Lili. 47 ABC's Lili Zhang reporting live in our studio tonight.